hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do hls streaming on a flutter app both for android and ios so here you can see the android output uh, i will just play a video so i have just uh, lower down the volume because it was annoying but as you can see this is an hls video playing perfectly fine fine on android so i'll just uh, stop it and for ios uh, you don't have a video player right like you can't i mean you can but i think the easier way is to show the av player in a new screen so i have this button this is specifically for ios for android we don't have a button we can just show that uh, video player in an existing screen so i'll just select on this so here you can see the video been playing uh, hls video perfectly fine so let's see how to do this in flutter so here i have created my flutter project and i have just refactored my home page widget inside main dot dot so firstly i have created one method channel then i'm checking uh, inside uh, our build method uh, for a column i'm checking whether the platform is android then display this android player which i have created i will show you in a bit and i'm passing this video url so here you can see the video has this extension of m3 u8 which means that it is an hls video similarly for ios i am just displaying one text button and on click of it i'm invoking a method called select video and i'm just passing our video url so it will start doing hls streaming for us and yeah uh, now coming back to our android player so firstly it takes a video url and here i'm just using an expanded widget so that our video player occupies the entire width and height and here i have created this my video view so if you see this my video view it takes a video url and uh, here i have just created one creation params i have i haven't uh, used key but suppose if you are constantly changing the video url to new things better to use key otherwise your video won't get updated also you will have to use the did update widget as well so i'm informing you that and here uh, i have created this android view so i'm just passing this identifier so we'll have to use this identifier on native android side as well and for other platforms i'm just displaying one size box so uh, now coming back to the main course so i have opened the android folder inside android studio again ignore this error for now these are like android studio bug uh, which i couldn't seem to resolve uh, so here inside android manifest firstly add internet permission so that's what i have done and uh, the next thing which i have done is inside build out gradle uh, i have added this dependency media 3 exo player media 3 ui as well as media 3 exo player hls also yeah if you want you can update the kotlin version as well 1.9.20 i think is the latest at the point of me recording maybe by the time you watch it maybe uh, even kotlin version 2 might come out so yeah you can update it uh yeah next is uh we'll have to go to main activity and here firstly these are all the imports so as you can see i have overridden the configure flutter engine method and here we are passing our identifier and which is calling this my video factory class video view factory class so if you see over here firstly uh, these are all the imports for my video view factory and here we are overriding this create method which uh, inherit which internally calls this my video view kotlin file which i have created so if you i show you so here is my video view uh, again these are all the imports so you can just copy paste all these imports and here i have created this my video view firstly i have taken our linear layout then an exo player uh, play when ready is true current item is zero playback position is zero here i have created our player view then i have overridden the get view method i am returning linear layout then inside dispose we are releasing our player inside init we are setting layout params and then we are just setting linear layout dot layout params equal to layout params then we are initializing our player view uh, then setting it to our la player views layout params and then adding our player view to our linear layout we are getting the video url from flutter side and passing it to our setup player method so here we are just creating an exo player uh, then here we have to use this default http data source here we are encoding our url and then creating a media item out of it then i am creating an hls media source and then just passing our player view dot player equal to exo player then setting media source to whatever is our internet video source 
play when ready assign it to this variable seek to is current item and playback position and prepare our exo player and here i'm just hiding our system ui this is not necessary but if you want you can do it and this is the code for releasing our player so if you want to release your player you can use it and here you can see inside dispose we are calling release player so that's it for android side for ios i have opened the xc workspace inside xcode and all i have to do was uh, import av kit uh, then here i have created our flutter view controller as well as av player view controller and uh, here we are initializing our controller so once the method channel is called uh, and this select video method is called we get the video url as a parameter we initialize our av player we set our player to player view controller dot player and then just present our controller then we just call player dot play okay so yeah i think that's it for the ios side as well yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye also one more thing is i am using https video so in case if you are using http maybe you want to add clear text traffic in android manifest for android and for ios you have to add that ns transport something something you can just google it but better to use https just to avoid all this uh, stuff so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye